And there we have it, Heckler fans, 2-0. Two to the game stayed exactly the same as it finished at halftime. We had an energetic second half, however, nothing was able to fall through the net. See, what happened? Well, we all expected Mexico really to just slow down the pace and uh, just try to control that 2-0 lead. If they happened to get an opportunity to score goals, which they did, they were going to go ahead and take it. A little bit shocking was Brazil. They came in trying to score a goal. They brought in Alessandro Pato trying to open up the lanes for Neymar in between them both. But for some reason, they just were not able to put the goal in the net. And Alessandro Pato misses one of the easiest goals. Yeah, that was very shocking to see. All he had to do was just touch the ball and it would have been 2-0. I do believe that would have changed the complexion of the game. Who impressed you most from the Brazilian side? Well, I really did, wasn't too impressed with the Brazilian side. I thought they were trying to set a place to each side, go left to right. I just am not impressed with Leandro. I know he's the guy in the middle who's supposed to put the ball in the net. I know Hulk has a very strong left foot, but he, he, he just has an inability to put the ball in the net. Neymar would probably be the guy I'm most impressed with. He's supposed to be the goal scorer, but for some reason, he's the one that's trying to open the passing lanes. Yeah, um, on that front, I wasn't impressed with the Brazilian team, except to see that they have plenty of talent. They just need to get put it together and have a little bit better teamwork. What about on the vic victor side, Mexico? Who impressed you the most? Well, we also, we, we got to take notice of Giovanni Santo. Was it a shot or was it a pass? Either way, it was a beautiful goal. Chicharito's ability to score the penalty kick. Uh, but I'm going to have to go with the goalkeeper, Corona. I think he was able to stabilize the defense and let them know this is not going to be an easy goal to score off of. In final analysis, I'm going to say that the Brazilian team looked a lot like the Mexican team from a few years ago. They have all the talent in the world. Now they just got to learn how to put it together, play as a team, and they're going to be an incredible team for years to come. On the Mexico side, they look very polished. They look very developed. It's going to be an exciting season of football. And Heckler fans, talk about soccer all month long. We got the 2012 Olympics coming up. This Friday commences the Euro Cup 2012. That's going to be very exciting. In a few days, we have two powerhouses going at it. Wednesday, Brazil versus Argentina. Eternal rivals, two of the biggest teams in the world playing against each other. Brazil, I guarantee you, is going to be looking for victory. Heckler fans, thank you very much for joining us. We look forward to hearing from you. We'll see you guys on Wednesday. Have a good night.